In the savannas of Africa, at a time where the world was roamed by megafauna, ancient human beings gathered around a campfire, smashing hammer stones against other stones to form what is known as Stone Age tools, which kick-started an entire series of evolutionary technology. Today we'll be going through some of the technological landmarks in human history and showing you exactly how it helped us evolve and survive in this hostile climate. If you enjoy this sort of content and you hope to see more like it, please comment, share, like and subscribe. Sharpened stones or commonly known as Alderwan tools. Homo habilis, the first archaic human, was thought to be the inventor of this tool. However, with today's knowledge, the oldest Alderwan tools are now known to predate the earliest Homo habilis fossil, leaving a question mark on who actually invented this tool. To our knowledge, these artifacts appeared around 2.6 million years ago in the savannas of Eastern Africa. These were basically stone cores with flakes removed from them to create a sharpened edge that could be used for cutting, chopping, or scraping. These tools gave a tremendous evolutional advantage to our ancestors. They gave us access to new sources of food and allowed us to process other raw materials such as wood and bone. Over a period of roughly 900,000 years, the older wind tools shaped the technological landscape in Africa, South Asia, the Middle East and Europe. The older wind tools were made from stones like volcanic rocks and quartzites. These so-called cores were rested upon a stable surface and struck with a hammer stone. Using the right impact and angle will produce a thin, sharp stone flake. Most likely, older one tools were served as primitive cutting instruments, and our ancestors might even use them to scavenge meat, cut plants, or to crush nuts and bone. To summarise, the older one tools were probably one of the biggest moments in our history. They are monumental in our evolution. They would have allowed us to gather new foods, fend off against enemies, gather new resources, and also come up with new ideas. The Stone Hand Axe The next leap forward in tool technology occurred when humans began striking flakes off longer rock cores to shape them into thinner, less rounded implements, including a kind of tool called a hand axe, with two curved flake surfaces forming the cutting edges, a technique known as bifacial working, these more sophisticated Acheulean tools proved sharper and more effective. Acheulean tools spread from Africa over much of the world with the migration of Homo erectus, a closer relative to modern humans. The actual function of hand axes is debated. Some suggest that they were not used as chopping tools, but for the butchering of game. Scientists have shown that these tools exhibit wear common to butchery uses. Other scientists have theorised that they were thrown into the herd as a deadly spinning projectile. Probably the most interesting theory, in my opinion anyway, is one that explains why many unworn pristine condition tools have been found abandoned. This was because the tool wasn't being used as a tool, but it was being used in aid of sexual attraction. Yes, just like men today, showing off their fancy cars, shiny jewellery, money, houses, ancient humans might have actually carved these stones in order to attract a female, probably to show that they was a worthy mate and they was capable of surviving and looking after the young. If you were a primitive human able to make large symmetrical hand axes, this would show that you were genetically superior and an excellent candidate for mating. There is much evidence that contradicts this theory, but it is a quite interesting hypothesis. Based on the varieties of the hand axe designs, and not only obvious wear from use, but actual well thought flaking designs to best fit one's hand, there's really little doubt that these stone tools were relied upon on a daily basis for the primitive man's existence. The Lavelloa Technique so next up isn't actually a tool, it was a technique that was used to develop tools, called the Lavelloa Technique. So hand axes actually remained one of the most popular things in the technological record up until about 100,000 years ago. But roughly 400,000 to 200,000 years ago was the emergence of the Lavelloa Technique. Known as the Lavelloa, or Prepared Core Technique, it involved striking pieces off a stone core to produce a tortoise shell-like shape then carefully striking the core again in such a way that a large, single, sharp flake can be broken off. The method could produce numerous knife-like tools of predictable sizes and shapes, a considerable advance in tool-making technology. 
From this technique, our ancestors could have potentially made cutting tools, scrapers, points for spears, and sharp points for arrows. It's also worth noting that this type of technique probably would have had to have the ability of speech and language to then be taught down to future generations. Neolithic tools. The Neolithic era is probably one of my favorite, maybe after the Paleolithic era. This era really marks a monumental moment in human history where we really started getting things done and we really started jumping and jumping and jumping over the short space of time that was only about 12,000 years ago. Starting around 10,000 BC during the Neolithic period, otherwise known as the New Stone Age, humans made the transition from small, nomadic groups of hunter-gatherers to large agricultural settlements. In terms of tools, this period saw the emergence of stone tools that were produced not by flaking, but by grinding and polishing stones. These tools, including axes, celts, chisels and gouges, were not only more pleasing to look at, they were also more efficient to use and easier to sharpen when they became dull. Polished Neolithic axes, like those found in the sites of Denmark and England, allowed humans to clear wide patches of woodland to create their agricultural settlements. Toward the end of the Neolithic period, however, the emergence of copper and later bronze led humans to transition into using metals rather than stone as the primary material for their tools and weapons. The Stone Age had come to an end and the new era of human civilization had begun. If you've made it this far, then thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy this picture of me with my favorite fossil, which is a cave bear incisor. I just wanna highlight that I'm not a professional and I may get things wrong in this video and future videos. So if I do, please feel free to contact me or just highlight it in the comments. I'll always listen to what you have to say. And once again, thank you.